All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out VMware EXXi on the Raspberry Pi 5, so let's get started. Now, not too long ago, we actually got a drop of the UEFI Raspberry Pi 5, which I showcased on this channel for installing Proxmox 8.1 on the Raspberry Pi 5. We're gonna be using the same UEFI. The instructions are pretty much the same at loading it into the SD card. Now, I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below for what we talk about, but this is what we're gonna be using just to get the UEFI boot so we could actually install ESXi. And I am using version 0.2. From here on, what you need to do is just download the zip file and then any SD card, all you have to do is just format it to FAT32 and transfer these files over to the root directory. It will just boot directly off the SD card. Now, with that being said, there are some things that don't work off this UEFI, so you do have to keep that in mind. Now, one of the major things is that the ethernet is not working. You do have to be able to provide a working ethernet that actually supports e ESXi, not all do. I had to go to three different ethernet adapters just so I had one that would work with ESXi. And the model that I have is actually this one called A6 Electronics AX88179 gigabit ethernet. That's the one I'm using for uh, my setup right now, but I heard Realtek works, so you might be able to get a Realtek USB ethernet that might work as well. It's trial and error because I, like I said, I tried three and that was the only one that worked. Now the install process is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just answer a few questions and then it'll just bring you right into the install. Now, if it's installing halfway and gets stopped at 81%, that means the ethernet didn't work so you're gonna have to swap out that ethernet and change it for something that does because that's when it sets it up now once everything is installed this is the screen you'll be seeing and you can see this is just a regular terminal screen for the esxi and it shows you that it is on the raspberry pi 5 model b and i am on the 8 gigabyte model on the bottom side it will show you where is your management ip so in my case it's the 249 ip so i'm going to jump right over to there but yeah, here's the login screen for our VMware ESXi. And I gotta be honest, after playing around with this compared to Proxmox 8.1, the VMs actually feel like it works faster on ESXi, but I still like the fact that I could use LXC containers on Proxmox. So it really depends what you're planning to use it with. But I do really like the VM situation on VMware. It does feel like it runs a lot smoother versus Proxmox, but Proxmox has LXC. So I'm gonna log in and here we have it. This is how it looks. So as you can see, I'm, I am using 0.2 of the BIOS. Now I did, I should have changed the date and time. I didn't, but I could do that on the next reboot. But this is the main screen that you would see. Uh, we are on the Raspberry Pi 5 Model B. It is on the four core, eight gigs of RAM and a bunch of other information that you could see. Now I do have two VMs installed, but I couldn't get Windows 11 to properly run the way I wanted to. I'll show you what I mean right now. So I can install Windows 11. I've seen someone else do it. Uh, I've done this on the Raspberry Pi 4 before, so I know it does work. But in some case, it gives me this little error. Upon researching this, it seems to be like a memory issue. So I think it might have to do something with the firmware or the UEFI boot that is actually causing issues with uh, Windows 11 not properly installing. And if I hit OK, it's just gonna reboot and constantly do a reboot loop. But yeah, I couldn't get past the install on here so i don't know what's going on with it yet but i was able to install another virtual machine which is uh, debian and i was playing around with debian itself and it was pretty good so let me log into a debian and it loads right up and i could go into a browser if i wanted to and it's pretty quick even though it's on one core it feels much faster than anything i've used on proxmox with one core let's search for esxi on arm and that comes up like it's so quick like it just feels very responsive for everything we're doing over here like i click on a website and it goes right to it uh google worked right away it popped up and they have a bunch of applications like this is just a normal debian installation but i'm saying using one core and two gigs of ram still makes it feel very responsive on the raspberry pi 5 even though i'm using uh esxi so here i have like the mouse pad close that out I might be able to play video. I haven't tried. So I'm going to go to my YouTube. And I got to say, it loads pretty quick. Going to my latest video. This is not Windows, which is a pretty cool uh, video. Let's see if it plays. Yeah, pretty good. There's one thing that I really wanted to do was get Windows 11 working or at least Windows 10 because there are drivers out now that allows you to use that ethernet, which we didn't have before on the last time we were testing everything. So let me close this out. 
So there's these drivers right down here called VMX. Yeah, the VMX Net drivers. They're available now on the VMware Tools ISO. So you should be able to install the VMX Net uh, network drivers for our Windows 11 for ARM on our Raspberry Pis. That was something I really wanted to test, but unfortunately I couldn't get this to work. But anyway, it was pretty easy to get VMware EXXI to install on the Raspberry Pi as long as you have the UEFI boot. Again, your mileage may vary because right now it's still on experimental phases like the Ethernet's not working and stuff like that, which will come later on. But as for now, knowing that EXXI installs on Raspberry Pi 5 is pretty cool. And again, Raspberry Pi 5 handles this like a champ. It actually works so well because obviously with the increased speed of the Raspberry Pi 5, everything just handles better. It's more responsive. But again, your mileage may vary. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.